Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So uh, the Greece issue is slowly um, coming to a head with the referendum due on Sunday, but the market is looking incredibly resilient considering all the uncertainty about contagion and the impact of the Eurozone should Greece eventually vote no on Sunday. Um, but a lot of this positive momentum really just pushing um, the Greek government to, into a corner because they can't argue that... Uh, that the Eurozone will have to come to the rescue no matter what. So, interestingly, most global bond markets were up, apart from over in China, where the stock markets are again down. And uh, the propaganda ministry has been told by the government, uh, certain sources being cited across there in that local region, not to publish negative stories about the stock market and only to publish positive stories. But they, um, the Shanghai Stock Exchange down another 2% again today. I think most of the major global indices in China are down uh, about 25% from their peak at the start of June. So things still looking pretty dicey there and the government are now doing a lot of things to try and prop up those markets and it's still not having the desired effect. So um, it's obviously not uh, spilling over onto the other European and US uh, markets, but at some point if that begins to accelerate, it's something I would have in the back of my mind anyway if I was looking at these world markets. But looking at the US 30 just now, we're trading above potential resistance 17,747. Uh, technicals are a bit redundant at this point with all the fundamental uh, issues on there. And we do have non-farm payrolls today, which um, promises to be an exciting figure because of ADP private payrolls yesterday far beaten expectations and we've seen cable and euro dollar actually come off a fair bit as the US dollar has been gaining a little bit of extra momentum uh, overnight and this morning. Looking at the UK 100, we are trading above 65.89, a decent day yesterday but well off the session highs. Um, we initially had a spike higher when it came out that Greece was actually going to accept um, the bailout condi conditions with only some small changes and then suddenly the Prime Minister went on TV and basically said no, the uh, Eurozone are trying to blackmail uh, Greece and he urged a no vote on Sunday's referendum and the market sold off again. Um, but recently most global markets ticking up again nicely today, uh, even with all this uncertainty uh, swirling around there in the background. Looking at Japan 225 because dollar yen has just uh, shot up like a rocket, 123.48, that's been quite a positive for Japan 225. Stopped a little bit dead in its track today, great session yesterday, still eyeing up 20,800 and um, 68 should other global markets should we get this Greek uh, referendum out of the way if they vote yes to the bailout then things will maybe get themselves sorted out a little bit better so looking at that dollar yen coming up close to the 21 period SMA 12042 uh, spot 42 is the next potential resistance um, we are getting a little bit of momentum at the moment we're at the top end of today's scale almost got a bullish cross in the MACD other technicals are relatively neutral uh, I've seen rallies like this sputter out on dollar yen, but we do have non-farms today. So if that comes out good, we might get some extra momentum, but then you do have an American holiday, so maybe people might look to shore off some bullish positions before heading into that period. Looking at crude, crude came off quite uh, staunchly yesterday. I'm guessing uh, oil inventories weren't that great, or maybe they were good, and that's what's uh, depressing the price. Also, you have that big... Um, a big spike in the US dollar, you got China, you got slow down fears, blah blah blah. Uh, so we're at, at, actually it's a very negative bullish and gulfing, a bearish and gulfing pattern, trading below $57, eyeing up 54.85 as the next potential support. Looking at gold, gold's not benefiting from that a stronger dollar and more interest rate chatter in the US, so it's, it's drifting down lower. At the bottom end of the scale, 11.63 was the low that it reached on Friday, the 5th of June. We look like we might surpass that today if we get a good NFP with 11.37 being the next potential support. So finishing up with your dollar and UPUSD. So your dollar, two negative days, not doing a huge deal first thing this morning. I think we're now going to be in a holding pattern until we get uh, non farms out of the way. But we're below 1 spot 11, which was that pivot level we talked a lot about. Should the downward momentum begin to accelerate, you are looking at 1 spot 0786 as an next potential support level. Moving on to GBP USD, uh, negative, very negative day yesterday. We've just broken below 21 period SMA. We're just dipping below 1 spot 56 as we speak. Uh, if we if we do get a positive non-farms today and that puts further pressure on cable, um, that would push us down below that potential support and that would eye up one spot, 54.24, which would also coincide with that 55 period SMA. And you've got a negative cross on the MACD, you had a sell signal on the RSI and the slow stochastic just a number of sessions ago, so a lot of technical signals there are not looking that great. If you look at the wave formation that we'd have here, if we follow a similar retracement to what we had back in May down to the start of June, uh, that, that would probably bring us quite close to this level if that continues on. But it's all data dependent and what happens with the Eurozone. So 
Remember, non-farms today, 1.30, make sure you set your alarm for that. I do believe we've got non-farm payrolls webinar, which would be great for you to attend, go to support and live trader events and sign up today. It's free of charge for our clients. And um, if we fast forward on to Friday, probably not a huge amount of happening uh, over and above the PMI data and retail sales in the Eurozone because it's the American holidays start to kick off. Um, so there are a, a couple of bits and pieces, but it's really non-farm payrolls today. And uh, um, think about volatility over the weekend if you are looking to hold positions over the weekend, uh, especially for Greece, if you're looking at uh, Euro dollar, DAX, um, the Italian uh, MEB, the Spanish 35, everything else like that. It could be extreme volatility depending on how that vote comes out. So uh, do have a think about that as well. Keep around the chart for Mick Insights, part of the layout going forward, and join me again uh, next week to find out what happened next.